Okay, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, all right. So let's look at single line comments. Okay, so in the part of a Java program, um, we looked at we you 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 saw basically what single line comments are. But then let's let's basically look at look at what they are. Now s comments are basically basically stuff that you type in your code, right? Right. But then they are not actually your code. They get ignored by the compiler when you run your program. Comments are ignored. Comments are just for you or anyone who reads your code to just read in English because some of this stuff, right, is not clear. It, it's not clear to the everyday person or to, you know, if you just give this to someone to read, they'll, go, they'll tell you, someone who doesn't probably know code, they'll, they'll probably tell you, what is this, right? And so even if you give it to some programmers, right, they may not understand your code. You may you may wonder why did you do it this way, and so you may use comments to just write notes in your code, and you can just read them like you know basically reading stuff. They are not part of your program. But what, what I mean by that is when you compile your program, the comments get ignored, right? So let's look at single line comment and why they are called single single line comment. So if you want to basically write a single line comment, you basically precede it with um, two forward slashes. You type two forward slashes, and you type anything you want. You could type anything you want. So let me just type here something like, "I'm about to use," or "I'm going to." And you can see Dr. Java actually uses green to sig so basically signify or or um, let you know that you are. These are comments, right? I'm going to use comments to describe my code. Right, when you single, the reason why they call single line comments is anytime you type in two forward slashes, anything on that line becomes a comment. As soon as I go out of that line, I type it doesn't become a comment anymore. I have to again go ahead and precede that also with with basically um, two forward slashes. And so this gets ignored. This code, for this it's not code. It's basically comments, right? This gets ignored because it's simply comment. I can type anything I want, and when I compile my program, it it compiles well. They get ignored. This got ignored, right? Now comments are just used to describe your code or document. You can even make notes to yourself. It's just like having a notebook, um, doing math in class, and you have notes on the side to explain to yourself what you did or to explain to someone maybe what you did. Right, so we can write a regular program that, that let's say adds two numbers, right? We can say integer number one is equal to five, and then integer number two is equal to seven. And then I can use a comment over here, right? Forward slash. It, it's anything from this two forward slashes all, all, all the way to the end of the line, right? It becomes a comment. And it's a single line comment you use two forward slashes. There are basically three types of comments in Java. There are single line comment, multi line comment, and then documentation comments. So in this video, let's look at single line comments and then we'll see multi line comments and we'll see documentation comments, right? So I can use it this way and say, for example, um, this variable, I'll say, I'll say variable to hold the first number. Oops, to hold the first number. And I can use a single line comment here, two forward slashes, variable to hold the second number. Now it doesn't matter how many characters you type, you can you can you can write you can write comments in your code as many times wherever you want, wherever you want, as many times as you want, it doesn't matter. Alright. You can comments are just ignored. You can play with them, you can write your, your heart out, you, you can write whatever, you can write your name, your speak your, your local language, whatever, and it'll still work, right? No way I can go ahead and say that um, I can system but out. Not I can even create another variable and say um, integer integer result is going to be called to number one plus number two semicolon. And I can print out the result variable right and over here I can use a comment I don't have to put that at the end of the line I can put it on top of the line this way and say two forward slashes single line comment add in two numbers and storing it in a variable result and over here I can have single line comment and say that print I'm printing result 
right, I can have another comment here and say this is the end of the program. I can have a comment here above me. I can write it anywhere. Two four slash nine. I, I can say this is the beginning of the program. Comments are ignored. All all comments are ignored. They are not part of your code. When I compile this and I run it, I can see twelve. Five hasn't been added to seven. I can see twelve. Now, when in the future, when I come back to this program. Or, on your, or when I give this code to someone and the person wants to understand it, just read the comments. Oh, this is the beginning. Sorry. This is the beginning. All right. So you see, okay, this is the beginning of the program. Okay. I'm going to use comments. Okay. Variable to hold first number. Oh, I see. Variable to hold second number. Oh, I see. And then it keeps on going. So comments are just used to describe your code. They are ignored by the compiler. You can put them anywhere you want. All right. Now, be careful. If you. For example, over here, right, this part of the code was where I was storing five into number, right? So if I want to just say put a comment here, I mentioned you could put it anywhere, but you just have to be careful. If I try to do this, okay, now I have made the what I what I intended to store in number one a comment because right, anything that comes or follows that two forward slashes on the same line becomes a comment. So be careful. All right, be careful. Two forward uh, for um, small single line comments, right? Anything that follows the two forward slashes all the way to the end of the line becomes a comment. So be careful by doing it this way. We'll see how multi line comments work and a way to fix something like this. If if indeed you want to have a comment somewhere here, right? But then just be careful of doing it this way because now you've made a number of comments and this will give you an error because it doesn't know what this is equal to. It's equal to nothing now. All right, so. Just be careful there. If I make this comment and I try to compile the program, right? It's 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 saying this, you know, it's giving me an error, right? It's giving me an error and saying this is you know all sorts of stuff. All right, so let's be careful using it that way, because anything that that basically anything on that line, okay, from the two four slashes becomes a comment, right? So compile this now, run and it's working fine. Okay. So we'll talk about multi-line comments in the next video, and then we'll talk about documentation video uh, comments in the next video, right? So if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.